So at what point, it, like, did you get hooked up into the business? Obviously, you were a fan, and then you just wanted to get trained. How did that all come about for you? It wasn't easy because I, I, I said in the seminar last night, I'm not a second or third generation superstar. I had no friends or family in the business. I had no way of knowing. The first, Actually, I worked at a record store. My, one of my first jobs was at the record spot on Kensington Avenue. Right. And Dominic had pictures of all the wrestlers up on the wall. He was a really good guy. Had all the pictures of the wrestlers up on the wall. And I remember just looking at these pictures and, and saying, how do you do this? How do you mean it? And he said, no, you don't want to be in this. This is slimy. It's brutal. But he was friends with Dennis Carlooza. And I always tried to, to meet Dennis and tried to get advice. And, you know, most times if you're just a 15-year-old kid and you're asking advice, you know, nobody's going to, they're just going to brush you off and say, no way. I mean, you know, people like Luke Hawks went through that. Everybody goes through it, right. you know, when they're young. So I just decided one day when I knew that Joel Goodhart had the Tri-State Wrestling Alliance, they had a wrestling school at Frankfurt and Tyson. Uh, I forget the name of the gym, but it was downstairs in a, in a room off of the gym. And I said, I, I know I want to do this for the rest, of, you know, for the rest of my life. This is going to be my career. What can I do, you know, to, to make this happen? So I joined the school, but then I said, well, you know, they only train like, three hours a night and i go and i it was so funny i said i'm not in very good shape i'm very skinny i, I know that i probably don't have the physical tools to do this so i have to work extra hard what can i do to give me that extra time that i'm not getting six to nine monday wednesday monday tuesday wednesday whatever so i got a job at the honda dealership huh. a block away how old were you on this period of time oh this is skipping ahead this is skipping ahead past high school i was 18 years old 19 yeah. years old so when i finally decided to take the jump after high school that's that's when i said well you know i gotta really go all in on this so i got the job at the car dealership so i used to go before work practice my bumps go after work when the school was open work when everybody like the people were probably going to get into next and then on the weekends when I was working, sneak in and take more bumps and just try to, man, man, if I can learn how to bump, I'm at least halfway there. Right, right. So Now, who were some of the guys that were the head trainers at, as far as, like, this know, is like, <laughs> this is like one of those, uh, you know, like, uh, very odd trivia questions because it, it pops everybody that I tell, and I'll, I'll say that name last. Uh, Jimmy Giannetti, J.T. Smith, the Larry Winners, who broke his leg, like, a week after I started. Johnny Hotbody, Tony Stetson. Uh, Hotbody wasn't very very good to me. Like, he wasn't, like, testing me or doing anything. But he was just a jerk to me. You know what I mean? It wasn't like he was trying to do it for my own good. I, I knew the difference at that point. Right. Tony, JT, Jimmy Giannetti, those guys were trying to break me in and trying to teach me, uh, you know, tough way, but not like Hotbody. And the last name that <laughs> everybody, the Sandman. <laughs> That's what we got. Nobody can ever get over that. The Sandman at one time was such an, an amazing wrestler. He could wrestle, he could work, and he had to unlearn all that stuff and become horrible in the ring to get himself super over, more right. over than I could ever be.